Yo, what is good guys, welcome back to more Pokemon Leaf Green, Randomizer Wedlock. In the last episode, we went to One Island, Two Island, and Three Island. And unfortunately, we did lose Magnesium to Swellow while we were over there. In this episode, we are going to be taking on the Viridian City Gym, so... Yeah, as always guys, if you could leave a like if you enjoyed the episode, that'd be awesome. If we could get 35 likes, I'd be pretty, pretty happy with that. So yeah, let's uh, get that done. Anyway, I talked it over with my friend yesterday after, uh, as, as what happened in the last episode. I wasn't sure about the encounter thing with Magnesium and stuff, because technically Magnesium had fainted, but it was still in the party, so I wasn't sure if a Pokemon I caught automatically went into the pair, or if I got to pick something from the PC. So as I said, I talked it over with my friend, and he said that, well, something does have to be replaced immediately. If you can't access the PC, then uh, you just wait until you can. So, pretty much, uh, this Anorith I caught here, uh, I... I'm gonna release it because I did, uh, I did, like, keep looking until I found a, uh, female Pokemon when I didn't need to do that, so, technically, well, technically, I don't think that's a good encounter or a proper encounter, so we'll just, uh, release that, but now we can replace, uh, Magnesium, unfortunately, can join the death box with, uh, with Carbon, Lithium, Nitrogen, Fluorine, Boron, Sodium, and now Magnesium's in there too. Pretty sad box, but we can replace that with something. And, uh, I don't have a lot of female Pokemon. And, uh, the female Pokemon I do pick, I think, are all sort of... Actually, I could pick... Actually, yeah, we're gonna pick Calcium, the, uh, the Elegant. I was actually gonna... I was considering picking, uh, picking this ball awesome Cobalt, but I think, yeah, we'll go with the Elected, actually. I forgot the Elected was female, so... Got herself an elect kid, and uh, yeah, it's awesome. So one, it only needs to like, grow like one level and it evolves. So I mean, that's good. And yeah, I could uh, could definitely do with an electro type actually to take on some water Pokemon. So that's great. Uh, yeah, definitely gonna work with uh, with calcium. That seems pretty good to me. So there we go. That's our uh, new team member, Calcium, the elect kid. Anyway, as I said, we're gonna be taking on the Viridian City Gym. So we may as well just fly to Viridian City right now. And get this done. This episode is probably going to be uh, rather short, I think, because it really depends on how long the gym takes me. And I want to do something really quick again. Oh wait, I bought no, I bought Hyper Potion Thought Steps. Never mind. I don't know why I went to the Pokemon Center anyway. I didn't mean to, but yeah, Viridian City Gym. We walked by here at the very start. Well, I never really paid much attention to it because I knew it was the last gym. But yeah, we are going to take it on. So let's do this thing. All right. Yo, champ of the making, even I don't know the uh, Viridian, the Viridian leader's identity. But one thing's certain, this will be the toughest fight of all the gym leaders. Also, I heard that the trainers here like to use ground-type Pokemon. Alright, that's good to know. Even though a lot of them don't actually use ground-type Pokemon, but... Yeah, let's see what we got here. We got ourselves an Arbok. See, that's not a ground-type, that's that's weak to ground-type Pokemon. And, oh, that's Glare, that sucks, alright. And he's a Tauros. That's scary, because Tauros is a pretty bulky Pokemon, so surf to knock it out and yeah we're gonna be pretty much using the two that we have at the front right now helium and hydrogen in this gym more likely helium against the gym leader solely or not helium but a uh, hydrogen against the gym leader so yeah I'm actually very worried about this place this gym is rather tough so I really don't want to like mess around and stuff I just want to get stuff done get it out of the way and then move on so yeah let's see what we got here um, alright, the leader's back, okay, cool, uh, Sand Slash, we'll switch out, and go for Surf. And next up, we have another Sand Slash, okay, so we'll Surf that as well. Rhyhorn, Surf. Nidorino, uh, Earthquake. And Nido King, Earthquake that too. And everything is just going down to, like, one hit from our all-powerful Wish Cash. <laughs> so that's great. I'll take on this dude next, because he has some Fighting-type Pokemon to fight. Uh, Wing Attack. And Machoke, I will fly. Awesome. Alright, just getting through here quickly, that's good. And, uh, yeah, alright, so, Sand Slash, uh, quickly switch out. I didn't mean to use Tickle, but whatever. That let me get Sand Attack, that sucks. Alright, Graveler. Uh, don't, yeah, alright, good, I didn't get the chance to, like, explode on me or anything. Marowak, everything's, like, dying to one serve, but I keep missing, like, the first one. Alright, I hit that one first, okay, but... Uh, I want to heal. I am not playing around with this thing going for self-destruct, because I know it's not above going for self-destruct. 
All right, there we go. It didn't do it, but you know, you can never take a risk. Well, you can, but I'd rather not. All right, so, oh god. <laughs> We're getting out of there. There we go. And, um, yeah, we are getting through here pretty quick. We only have one more train to the battle, actually, so. Marowak, uh, not playing around with that either, because it's pretty strong. It's a strong Pokemon. And we Surf, and we Surf, and we Earthquake. Great. Alright, there we go. Oh, he's one more left. Okay, he's a Needle Queen. Earthquake, that too. <laughs> Whatever, it's no difference. Alright, so, last trainer in the gym. Let's see what you got. The Karate King. Alright, uh, Machoke. Fly, and a Machop, Wing Attack, and a Machoke, <laughs> Fly, and there we go. Alright, so what I'm going to do is run back to the Pokemon Center, heal up, get my PP back, and then it'll be time to take on the gym. Uh, the gym leader, we're already taking on the gym. We have already got to the gym leader in six minutes. I mean, Sabrina, we got there very fast, too, and that was good, but, uh, yeah. We are going to be healing up, so there we go. And, yeah, time for the gym. So, we're pretty much going to be just using helium. Or not helium. Oh, I said that again. Hydrogen. Because hydrogen is... It's good. It's good to take on, uh... Take on the gym leader. So, let's just, uh... Back into the gym. And, uh, yeah, I'm... Still kind of worried about how this is going to go. I have to go around this way because... He's still standing up there, yeah, so he's blocking off that way. Which means you gotta go around, and, uh, that guy looks kind of familiar to me. Wah! <laughs> Welcome to my hideout. It shall be so until I can restore Team Rocket to its former glory. But you have found me again, so be it. This time, I'm not holding back. Once more, you shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer. So yeah, that is, or this is, the last gym leader in the game. This is Giovanni. And he's user of ground type Pokemon, leads off with a level 45 Rhyhorn. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna just surf that and, uh, KO it, because it's four times super effective. Awesome, alright, sweet. So, down goes that. First Pokemon already taken care of. I think he has Nido King and Nido Queen, as well as a Dug Trio. And, does he have, uh, Rhydon as well, I think? Anyway, Dug Trio is a super fast Pokemon. So, yeah, it more than likely could outspeed your Pokemon at this point, unless you got, like, a really good Pokemon. And, uh, it's very frail, though. It's, like, one of the frailest Pokemon ever, so... One hit usually should be enough for it. Next up is Nido Queen, And Nido Queen is level 44. I, I feel like I'm over-leveled. I feel like... I know, I have a weird feeling, because Blaine had, like, really low-level Pokemon, then he had level 47. Like, a level 47 Arcanine out of nowhere. I think his, like, is his, his, his last Rhyhorn or Rhydon, like, level 50 or something like that. I feel like there's, he has some weird level boost when you take on his last Pokemon. I could be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure, like, all these are, like, level 42 and 45 and stuff like that. And then this, his last Pokemon takes a massive leap. So his last Pokemon is into the Rhyhorn. And that Rhyhorn is level 50. Yeah, look at that. That's, that's crazy. But, yeah, it's level 50, so... We'll still take it out with a single tidal wave. And, um, that is Giovanni defeated. And that is our eighth badge. Too easy, I guess, for hydrogen and. Well, just hydrogen, I guess, because helium didn't do much against the leader at all. Didn't do anything, really. Ha! That was truly an intense fight. You have won. As proof, here's the Earth badge. Alright, sweet. So we got the, uh, the final gym badge. Great. So, 5,000 bucks for winning. Not bad. The Earth, badge ma <laughs> the Earth Badge makes Pokemon of any level obey without question. It is evidence of your tr mastery as a Pokemon trainer. With it, you can challenge the Pokemon League. Also, take this TM. Consider it a gift for your Pokemon League challenge. So g to gives his TM 26, Earthquake, an awesome move. It's a powerful attack that causes a massive tremor. I made it when I ran the gym here far too long ago. Having lost in this fashion, I can't face my followers. I betrayed their trust. As of today, Team Rocket is finished forever. As for myself, I shall dedicate my life to training again. Let's meet again someday. Farewell. Well, put a stop to Team Rocket. We got our final gym badge. That's awesome. All in uh, 10 minutes. So, uh, yeah, there's still some more stuff to do. We'll actually make our way to the Pokemon League now. And, uh, yeah, this again is going to be a short episode because 
there's not much I can do really. So, let's just heal up really fast. Actually, hmm. No, I, I want to train up because I want to get that Elekid trained up as well. So, I won't be doing Victory Road in this episode. I'll just take on uh, a certain someone up around here. And I know what he leads off with. Uh, but I don't know who I should use. I can't use. Like, I could use a rare candy to get. Uh, yeah, but Elekid won't be able to take on anything here, so. Or, even if I evolve it, it won't be able to take on anything because it's still low level. Um. Hmm. Let's see. I guess we could lead off with helium. Uh, no, because I need helium for something else. Uh. <laughs> this is tough. Um. Yeah, then there's one of his Pokemon, like, walls me, doesn't it? Huh. Yeah, our team is not looking good for this next battle, really. Uh. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'll go with these two. I think they'll work. What's dude? What a surprise to see you here. So you're going to the Pokemon League? You collect all the badges too. That's cool. Then I'll whip you, Stu, as a warm-up for the Pokemon League. Come on. Yeah, Giovanni, I wasn't too worried about because I knew what he used. Uh, I know what Blue uses here, too, but whether or not we can take it on is another thing. So, leads off with Pidgeot. Uh, what we'll do is go for Surf. Just get off some damage. I'm pretty sure he's going to switch out into his Venusaur next. So, yeah, he's going to go for a Wing Attack. I guess I could predict that and go for Earthquake as... Nope, he didn't even switch because I think the game knows when uh, you predict it. You predict the game, and the game knows, so... Watch him switch out now. Nope, okay, he didn't switch, okay, I... He, he switched every other time. I mean, I don't understand, but... Anyway, to it KO the uh, Pidgeot. Gonna go out into Venusaur now. Which is why we're gonna go out into Helium. And just go for Fly. Repeatedly, until I KO it, so... Venusaur is level 53. Um, yeah, we're gonna go for Fly. As this thing... Oh god, that's scary. That is kind of scary, because I don't know what he can hit me with, so... Hopefully it's not anything too bad. Uh, Fly does overhaps, that's good. Uh, he has Razor Leaf, which... After growth might do a lot. That's... For a resistant hit, that's pretty good damage. Alright. Oh god, he has synthesis. God damn it. Alright, um... That's fine. I probably should have went for a wing attack. I can go for a wing attack. Maybe now. Okay, he went for he choked. I think he went for sweet scent. Actually, I can't go for uh for wing attack. That's not gonna kill from there. Is it? No, fly is not doing that much. Fly is doing about that much. So, um, oh god, is this what it's gonna be? Is this what it's gonna be, blue? Is this what? Is this how you wanna play it? Is this a- oh god, I'm afraid this is gonna get a critical hit. That's a high critical hit ratio, I'm afraid. Ah, uh, that's a wing attack. And wing attack is gonna take it out, alright, sweet, okay. I don't know if I would've taken it out last time, but it had a little less help there, so... Yeah, alright, um... Next up is Rhyhorn. So, about into Hydrogen. And I know he still has that Gyarados. And that Gyarados is a problem. That's a big problem for my team. And it's one of the reasons why I picked, uh... Picked Elekid, even though I forgot I needed to train it up. So, I mean... Yeah. Anyway, take out Rhyhorn, which is good. Next up is Gyarados itself. Um... I know I can take a hit with Hydrogen. I think it's in my best interest to stay in. Let the Intimidate go off on Hydrogen. Heal up helium, then switch out. So, let me grab one of my 50 hyper potions and um, heal up. As he's gonna go for Leer, lower my defense. I, I want to just compare defenses between uh, between helium and hydrogen real quick. So we have 100 defense here and 88 defense there. Not great. Hopefully he doesn't go for another Leer. That would be awful. And, uh, oh, Rain Dance. Okay, that's scary. Uh, I 
Gyarados doesn't get Swift Swim. It, it has Intimidate already. Yeah, well, I'm what am I talking about? But oh, I should went for Feather Dance. That would have been smart. Oh, went for Hydro Pump. Okay. Uh. Mm hmm. This might do a lot in the rain. The uh, not the fly, the uh, Hydro Pump. We'll just see the damage. Gyarados isn't the best special attacker. Uh. We live. Yeah, we live. We live. That's fine, we live. And he couldn't miss, because Hydro Pump has pretty bad accuracy. So, yeah. Actually, I think we, like, yeah, okay. Uh, we gotta live, really. That's the main thing here. And we dodge. Skillfully dodged. And the rain is stopped. Excellent. Um, go for fly again. Oh god, this Gyarados, man. It's, it's scary as hell. This Gyarados scares the crap out of me. <laughs> it's good. It's it's a very bad Pokemon for my team, but there we go. Defeat Gyarados. Next is Growlithe. Oh, we got to Hydrogen, and Hydrogen can pretty much clean up the game from this point. So, all right, here comes the Growlithe. It is level 45. It will probably outspeed me, I assume. But uh, we'll just go for Surf. Actually, wow, we outspeed it. Okay, that's good stuff. And a Surf is going to knock it out, so there we go. And finally in his team is the Alakazam, which honestly isn't that much of a threat. It's level 47, it's super fast, it's super strong. But I, yeah, he disabled my Surf, so I can't knock him out here with the Earthquake. And that is pretty much uh, Blue taken care of. Nope, alright, uh, oh, because the Intimidate, right, right, right. Um, I didn't think it would, like, weaken down my attack that much, but it did, apparently. But anyway, second Earthquake is gonna knock it out. And that is, uh, the goodest of games to you, Blue. And your goddamn Gyarados. Um, <laughs> scary Gyarados, I swear. That loosened me up, I'm ready for the Pokemon Leaks. Dude, you need more practice. But hey, you know that, I'm out of here, smell you later. <laughs> Alright, um, what I'm gonna do is did not mean to jump over that ledge, but I'm going to go back and heal, and then we are going to make our way towards the Pokemon League, so, been a very short series, this is only like episode 16, and we're already going to the Pokemon League, uh, yeah, didn't think it would, uh, be this fast, but it is, and, uh, make our way there, so, let's get going, and, yeah, I can't believe we're at the Pokemon League already, that's, very, uh, very strange. It's so, it's weird to be here so quickly. But, uh, yeah. And, yeah, I forgot I got the Viridian Forest music here, that's weird. But anyway, get the Boulder Badge, go ahead. And, uh, so we can pass here if you Cascade. I really should have done this earlier, but, as you know, I like going through it all at once. So, yeah, you have the, uh, Thunder Badge. Oh, this Thunder Badge, go through. It's sort of annoying, though, because they stop you like everyone. Oh, there's a berry here. A lap berry. I mean, hey, free berry on the way to the Pokemon League. It's not bad. Rainbow Badge, cool. And now we need Surf, so, I mean, you could come here if you had the Rainbow Badge, but you wouldn't be able to go much further because you need Surf. I remember, I don't know if I told the story when I was playing Red, but, um, when I was a kid, in, in the anime, like, whenever they were getting picks for the Pokemon League, they had to hook up Magikarp. And the Magikarp had a number on it, and that's who you get paired against or whatever. And there's a flag on here, but... Um... Wait, is that a new route? No, it, this doesn't go to a new route, so this is all Route 22, isn't it? Which means I don't get anything, but... Yeah, in the anime, they hooked up Magikarps. And with the Magikarps, they'd, uh... They'd get... The Magikarps have a number, and whoever... Like, you got a number, and they paired up with you. Oh, this is 23. Which means I just ran into a flag on it right away. Actually, I had, that's Duke's Claws, because I have Virava, so... You can't catch something. Um, yeah, as I, they'd hook up a number of people. I have a wheel, don't need to get you. They, they, yeah, I, I keep going off topic. They hook up a Magikarp, it has a number, it's a Deli Bird. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll catch it, because we can. And they'd hook up a... God, I've said that like three times. The Magikarp has a number on it, and they get paired up with the number or whatever like that, and yeah. That's what I thought you had to do when you first got here. I thought you would like hook up a Magikarp and it would have a number on it and then you'd randomly get paired up with someone. I don't know, I, I was just stupid. Uh, I still am stupid, but I was stupider as a kid. I, I feel like I've gotten a little bit more smart since then. 
but I don't know. Anyway, this is uh, germanium. Or, ger yeah, germanium. There we go. And put the build PC. Great. Alright, so. One more uh, thing to go through. And you can only pass here if you have the Earth Badge. We just got the Earth Badge. And yeah. Victory Road. So, I think in the next episode of Pokemon Leaf Green Randomizer Wedlock, I am going to be going through Victory Road. But before I do that, I'm going to do some grinding because I do want Elekid to be got up to about level 40 something in around the same level as my team. I might actually train everything up to 50 for the Pokemon League. So, I would just like to thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed this episode. And I will see you guys next time. So, See you guys then.